Hello everyone. <laughs> so it is just me starting the vlog today and that's because I'm doing something special for Gabby for her birthday. So her birthday is actually July 8th, but basically I've been planning a trip for her birthday for a while and I'm trying to surprise her so that she has no idea where we're going or what we're doing. So I've been planning this trip for like a few months or so and it's really, really hard to keep a secret from Gabby because we live together, we're dating each other, we work together, we have a lot of the same friends. So I've been like telling some people where we're going and like what the plan is, but then also I'm not other people because like some people I don't trust not to spoil a secret like this and it's somewhere that both of us have never been before I had to book the hotel the flights like what we're doing where we're going Instagram photo spots like restaurants all that kind of stuff without Gabby knowing which is really really difficult because you know you have things saved on your phone and on your maps and like all in your notes and like all this stuff so it's been really hard to keep it a secret for the last few months but I'm gonna try and not let her know where we're going until like the very last second, like until we basically get there. Oh my God, I spilled coffee on my shirt today. So this is like, I just noticed that this is like water of me trying to like get the coffee stain out. Anyway, I'm gonna go ask Gabby if she has like any hints on like where we're going. Um, but I'm not gonna tell you all until we get there either just because I don't want Gabby to hear because she is very good hearing. She really does. Where do you think we're going? Like what are your like top guesses? I almost have no idea because Shanna just keeps giving me different hints and it makes me confused and I'm like There's been stages of my guessing of where we're going in the beginning I thought like she's either taking me to Greece or she's taking me to Mexico And I think I thought maybe the Caribbean like Turks and Caicos now because of her clues I think Turks and Caicos Croatia, but then today Shanna was saying all this other stuff like for example Like it could be Israel. It could be places. I haven't thought of like Colombia So now I'm like are we going to Colombia? I have no idea. I'm so confused <laughs> to be fair She's only given me like three hints basically there's beaches. There's donkeys. They have good coffee and it's international, so I'm like, okay, it's not in the United States, it's not like California, but she could be tricking me, so I don't know. She said there's a layover, but I'm like, maybe she's lying, and maybe like we're really gonna get off at the place that our layover is in. I don't know, everybody, I'm being really tricked here. <laughs> okay, so it's a few days later now, it's actually the day that we are leaving to Gabby's surprise birthday trip. <laughs> I am very, very, very excited, and I still don't know where we're going. Shanna has been keeping me in Suspense. We literally packed last night and I was just like, what do I pack? And she was just telling me like, this will look cute, this will look cute, this will look cute. I was like, okay, I guess I'll pack that. Basically something weird happened, which has never happened before, which is that when we went to check in online, it said that like, some international um, trips now you have to check in at the desk which never used to happen but maybe it's like a new like COVID thing or something yeah I, I thought know. it might be because of COVID because maybe they want to like see our vaccination cards at yeah. the front desk or something like that I guess we'll see so we're gonna try and leave like a little bit early because we know it's a holiday weekend and we don't know like if the airport's gonna be like, crazy crowded or anything like that so we're gonna be leaving shortly but I need to ask Gabby one last question okay Shanna's hoping this doesn't get spoiled when we go to the gate yes. to check in because she was gonna try and keep it a secret for me until we literally were on the like last leg of the flight, like heading there. That way I would know like, okay, that's where we're going. But, but if you had to pick one place where you think we're going, what's the one place you really think we're going? Ah! I don't know. <laughs> um, Just so we can see if you're right or wrong when we get there. Can I there. say two places? Just pick one. Just pick one. Go with your heart desire. Somewhere in Greece is where I would say my number one guess is. And then we're going to be taking the subway to the air train to the airport today. <laughs> the worst part of the day. Getting the worst the part. I hate doing transportation to more transportation to more transportation. But I'm so excited for our trip and to find out where you're taking me. Goodbye, Rasky. We'll see you in 10 days. It's so hard to leave him. It is because his face is so fluffy. <laughs> One of the reasons why we like taking the subway to the air train is because it's really cheap. It's only $2.75, which is like the Metro card fee, and then $7.75 to go to the airport, which is way cheaper than like an Uber or anything like that, like parking your car here. Yeah, it also doesn't take that long from no. where we live. It takes about the same time that like driving would, sometimes faster if there's traffic. So 
so somehow we found out where we're going. Is that actually where we're going or yeah. is there a layover? I don't know if it's the truth or not. <laughs> we are? <laughs> Yay! No layover. You lied about the layover. I knew the layover was fake. We're going to Athens. So because we couldn't check in online, we had to check in like in this big line that we're on right now. And when we got on the line, the woman asked like, oh, where are you flying to? And I was like, oh my God, like, should I lie? Should I say lie? But I was like, no, whatever. I'll just tell the truth. And obviously Gabby was there. So now she knows where we're going. She whispered it, but I heard it. <laughs> I, I was like, <laughs> literally. And I was like, wait. But then Shanna told me that we had a layover. So I thought, oh, maybe we're going somewhere else after that. But now I know. I guess Greece actually, I don't know what told me. It was like my gut. I had to go with my <laughs> gut and my gut was right. And I'm so excited. I've never been before. And Shanna always says she's never been to Athens, but she's been to Greece. And she says it was her favorite place ever. And I've never been. We made it! <laughs> so it's been a long day of traveling, but we made it to Athens, and that's where we are right now. We're staying at our Airbnb for the first few nights, and we have this amazing balcony with this view of like this mountain. I'm not sure what like mountain that is, yeah, but it's, it's right behind insanely cute. Shanna has to show you the view and also the balcony because it's amazing. She did such a good job picking. <laughs> so our plan is to get out of these like dirty, um, plain clothes, fix our hair, um, look better, and then we're gonna go walk around, get some food, and explore. Yeah, that was like a 10 hour flight and we kind of like slept a little bit, but not a lot. But basically for us at home right now, it's like 4 a.m. or something, yeah. but it's like one in the afternoon here, so we need lunch. 20 minutes later. Okay, we have glowed up. I was gonna say we are all <laughs> All changed yes it feels so good to be in fresh clothes and also more like weather appropriate clothes so yes it's like 90 degrees in Athens it's supposed to be like sunny and warm the whole time we're in Greece which is perfect for us because that's the kind of weather that we like perfect so now we're going to walk around and go get something to eat and then we're going to just go around and explore so obviously they'll take you with us <laughs> the streets of Klaka right now. It seems like they have like lots of like cute little shops, restaurants, souvenirs, things like that. Yeah, it's really cute and a lot quieter than some of the other neighborhoods we've been to. Plus there's a bunch of cats that we've seen walking around. <laughs> so I'm excited to see more. <laughs> Alright, so everyone told us that we have to try this drink called Fredo Espresso, but basically it's just like espresso over ice. Um, I'm not sure how it gets like steamed at the top, but there's like no milk or anything in it, so it's vegan and it's sweetened with sugar. So I think I had this the last time I was in Greece, but I'm gonna try it again and see if I see what I think and also see if I remember having it before. I was gonna say that Shanna told me that she had this last time and then I had to yeah, try it. It's good. This is what it's you had really last good. time? It's basically like a really strong iced coffee kind of. It's really, really good. But look at this view. This that is the Acropolis behind my espresso. How <laughs> crazy is that? Drinking with the view. Drinking with the view. Drinking with the view. Okay. Taste test, taste test, taste test. It might be a little sweet for you. It's a little sweet for me. I get it slightly less sweet, but it's really good and I'm really happy to taste coffee right now. <laughs> with the view. <laughs> missing our kitty, how are you? Need a scratchy, need another scratchy, need a big scratchy. So I told Gabby the one thing I remember about Greece is that there's lots of stray cats everywhere. Here you go, buddy. You're gonna get cat treats, right? I really need to go buy cat <laughs> treats right now. Look at this baby. gelato flavor. Okay, so we came to this 
bar called Barretto's, and I saw it online like as like a really cool spot to go to, but what we didn't know is that it's actually the oldest distillery in Greece, which is crazy. We accidentally got beer because we didn't know that before we ordered, but they make their own uzu, which is like a, like a local liquor here. I definitely had it here the last time I was in Greece, so Gabby has to try it, um, but they also make their own wines and stuff like that. So we're gonna have to come back here um, the next time we're in Athens, and we'll, which will be later this trip, not like the next time we come in general. <laughs> and try it again. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna try Uzu. I don't know when, but it's gonna happen on this trip for sure. Definitely, they have it everywhere. You can't miss it. Okay, so now we are at dinner and we came to this place called Mama Tierra and they're supposed to have like really good like vegan versions of traditional Greek dishes. So we each got one traditional Greek dish. One is a moussaka and I forgot the name of the other one. Sutsaki. Sutsaki. I don't know. We're just totally we'll butchering put, all we'll these names. We'll put what is called on the screen <laughs> yeah. and like properly spelled. But there have been a lot of vegan options here so far which has made me really happy. for the first time. Gabby said I have to cut a slice like lasagna. <laughs> Nothing really big slice, but yeah. Oh. Whoops. Go for it. Okay, should I cut it in half? Let's go for it. Hold okay. that in your mouth. Do you like Yum. it? I can't believe you've never had this before. It does kind of taste like lasagna. You're right. It's in really a, good. In a way, with different ingredients. Okay, okay. now you have to taste mine. I forgot this is called, damn it. Shannon will put the name on the screen. But if you're Greek in, in the comments, let us know what this is called because we forgot. It's made of eggplant and tomato sauce. Well, that's the vegan version. Mmm, good. Wow, this is definitely the best food we had all day. Mm, oh my God, I'm so excited to eat. Bye camera. Good morning. <laughs> so it is day two in Athens today. And today we're gonna do kind of like the touristy stuff, going to see the Acropolis and the Parthenon and like all of those like very ancient structures. So exciting because when we were walking around yesterday, we were passing all of that and we were like, okay, we're gonna leave that for today. And today's the day, but <laughs> it looks so beautiful just from like walking around, not even being inside. So I'm so excited to see what it looks like when you're like up close. But first stop is we're going to get some breakfast. So we passed this place while we were walking back to our Airbnb yesterday that had like vegan like pastries and coffee and stuff. So we are going to try that this morning. Yeah. Okay, so for breakfast today, we decided to come to this place that I'm gonna butcher the name, so I'm not gonna say, I'm just gonna put it on the screen. Bucamade. They actually had a Fredo Express, which is what we had yesterday, but they also had a Fredo Cappuccino with um, almond milk. So Gabby got this one, she's gonna try that. But what they're actually famous for is these like Greek dough balls that are kind of like a Greek version of donuts oh and God. they're vegan. It looks amazing. And you got to pick all of your toppings and they had a mm -hmm. bunch of vegan toppings. So we got peanut butter, pistachio nuts, and a vegan chocolate filling. So all of it's vegan. Okay, I feel like I need to try it. Like, yeah. It's very messy. Oh my God, I feel so like it. <laughs> Yum. Yum. It's good? You picked good. Oh, I'm excited. Is it sweet? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready for breakfast. Okay, so you learn a new fact every day, but this is actually the original since 776 BC. So these these Greek dough balls have been around for quite some time. They're really extremely good. I finally ate it now, and I'm just like, I'm never going back to regular donuts again. <laughs> <laughs> Acropolis and the Parthenon and like that area with like all of the other um, you know like touristy things to do and we actually had to get a ticket to go in and we got a combination ticket which is 30 euros each and it basically um, lets you access that area but also some other like ancient areas so we might check some of those out today as well yeah hopefully we got to go and see which other ones are like included in it but it seemed cheaper to do that than to like enter like multiple different places yeah. for more money but um, we, I wasn't allowed to use my microphone in there for some reason. Like at the gate, the guide told me to take the microphone off my camera. So I don't know, but whatever. So I filmed some clips without the microphone. So those are probably before this. It was so beautiful there. Oh my God, it was gorgeous, but it was also so hot. 
We only had one water bottle and we were like dying of thirst, literally. So bring multiple water bottles yeah. if you go. I, I would really suggest that. three or four. Yeah, or five. But <laughs> or maybe don't go like we did in, in smack dab in the middle of the day. Like maybe go in the early morning or later at night when the sun is not directly hitting you. Yeah, it was honestly so cool though. It was beautiful. And I just like, I kept being like to Shanna, can you imagine people like living here once? Like that's so crazy when you see places like this and you're like, someone used to live here. <laughs> so now we are sitting down, relaxing and um, we're looking at this. I don't really know what this is, but it's very beautiful. Was that area super touristy? Yes, but I also think it's one of those places that like you have to see. Like this is one of like the oldest like remaining like civilizations from like BC era. So I really think that even if it is touristy, you should still do it. And we still got like pretty decent photos. We just kind of like waited for people to move out of the way. <laughs> yeah, I also think for somewhere that is touristy, it wasn't as bad as I would expect. Mm -hmm. Some places you go to when you're traveling can be like extremely touristy. And I mean, this is touristy, but it's not like people pushing you out of the way and yeah. being rude. It's kind of like everybody wants to see this because it's such like a magnificent thing to see. And the architecture is just like, wow, like it's unbelievable. Okay, we're now allowed to use the mic here. So we're doing it really sneakily, but we are at the Temple of Zeus right now. And if you know me, you know that Hercules is my favorite Disney movie. So um, in the movie, he obviously comes to the Temple of Zeus. So this is like my jam. I feel like we're gonna need to watch Hercules again and just be like, we saw that. <laughs> <laughs> They're doing construction on it, but this is what it looks like. So this is on the combo ticket that we had, which is why we could come in here basically for free because the combo ticket gets you into all of the above. So back in the day, that's what it used to look like, like with all the columns and there was like three separate columns there. But now, this is what it looks like. All right, good morning people. So it is now the next day and today we are actually leaving Athens and taking a four hour ferry ride to one of the islands. So in general, I feel like I liked Athens a lot more than I thought I was going to. Like a lot of people online said that you could see the city in like one to two days and that is true. I feel like we pretty much saw everything or for the most part that we wanted to see in one to two days here. But I thought because of that, that maybe like it wouldn't be that interesting, I guess. I don't know, but it was like really, really cool. Yeah, I loved it. It was like the perfect city not too touristy, super walkable, amazing food. I mean, it was really, really cool. I do agree though that you can see all of at least the touristy things in Athens in like one to two days. If we had a whole nother day, we could maybe do a few more little touristy things that we didn't do. Yeah, so I definitely think um, if you want to come to Greece and you're flying into Athens, which is the most common place I think to fly into, definitely only book like a maximum of like three days here. Otherwise, you're gonna you're gonna be walking down the same street multiple times, which is what we did yesterday. <laughs> it was like 20 times. We were like, wow, we really like this street. So we are actually going to end this Athens video here because I feel like whatever we do the next few days is gonna to be too much to put all into one video. So if you wanna see what we get up to on the Greek islands and which islands we visit and stuff, make sure you check out our next videos. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.